Hi, this is Andre. We're going to do the alternate effect from my tutorial. Uh, this is Geisha 2 JPEG from the resource disk. Uh, go ahead and open that one up. First step is to duplicate the layer by hitting Command J or Control J on the PC. And then we're going to go to Filter, Stylize, Find Edges. So there's really no settings for that, it's just going to apply it. Um, let's get rid of the color. Uh, hit Command Shift U or Control Shift U. And then let's apply a level adjustment. And just to be proper, I'm going to clip it by holding down Option Alt and then clicking in between the two layers. And then I'm going to go ahead and name this here. It's a even though there's going to be a few layers for this image, it's, it's good to get in the habit of naming the layers. Okay, back to the levels. Just going to slide the, the dark and light sliders inward. I'm also going to adjust the output levels down here. I'm going to slide the dark slider inward, and that's basically just going to limit how dark anything can get. Okay. I'm going to apply a uh, layer mask to the fine edges layer. And I'm going to bring up my brush tool with B. Okay, I have a soft br round brush. And I'm going to use about 80% opacity. And I'm going to paint some of the uh, with black as the foreground color. I'm going to paint out some of that fine edges layer. Basically, it's just revealing some of the photo below. Okay, okay next step, I'm going to go back to the background layer and hit Command J or Control J on PC. Bring that up to the top. And then I'm going to go ahead and name that colored pencil because that's the filter we're about to apply to it. Um, Filter artistic colored pencil. Okay, and the settings from top to bottom here use 4, 8, 25, and then click OK. okay pretty nice effect. Uh, to blend it in with the rest of the image, change the blend mode to hard light. And then I'm going to uh, add a layer mask to that layer. Uh, the, the effect is a little too harsh in the facial area here, so I'm just going to use black to paint out some of that there. Okay. Let's go to File Place. And from the resource disk, go ahead and get Texture 2 JPEG. Hit uh, Return or Enter to confirm. And also set this to hard light. Okay. I'm going to add a layer mask to that. And with black again, let's paint out some of this facial area here. Maybe a little bit of the garb there. Okay. And be sure to use your brackets, left and right bracket, to size your brush. Uh, it's a lot more efficient than going up and, and trying to change it with the sliders. Okay. Alright, I'm going to go add a vibrance or hue saturation, either one. Basically, we're just going to drag the saturation all the way to the left. Okay. And use the built-in mask to paint out some of this desaturation, thereby revealing the color. So now we're really drawn to the red in the facial area here. Okay. And then I'm going to apply 11s. And just to uh, increase contrast a little bit. Let's put it around the sliders here.
So we're pretty much done. Uh, you can go back and play around with the masks here for the, especially the fine edges and the colored pencil layers. Um, so if you want to add more of a sketch effect, you might use white to, or, um, yeah, you definitely want to lower the opacity of the brush. Let's try about 30%. And just kind of add a little bit of that sketch back in. And use X to swap uh, between your black and white colors so that you can quickly add and remove from, from the layer masks. And don't be afraid to zoom in, get a good look. And make sure you're pleased with everything. Okay? One thing I'm going to show you is a quick way to uh, lighten teeth. So grab your lasso tool, just the standard lasso tool. Okay. Get up close to the teeth, and basically we're just going to do a, a just a very rough selection. It does not have to be perfect. And let's go to select, modify, uh, feather. And let's just do a uh, one pixel feather. Okay. Let's grab a hue saturation adjustment layer. Drag the saturation all the way to the left. And you see that the yellow has been sapped away. And now increase the lightness. Okay. So I know it looks uh, totally fake here. So basically play with the opacity here. So it's, it's a little more realistic. And there it is. Quick sketch effect. Uh, not too many steps. And and from here you can uh, you can add more detail. Um, you can introduce some uh, s actual um, manual um, sketching to to make it look a little more authentic. Um, you can add more textures uh, and then refine the masks further. Okay. So thank you for following along.